that's it. Everything in the barrels. Oh, Mr. Bukens commands someone to refill my cheese board. What the hell is going on? There's no one at my temple and the garbage is gone. I would thank you, but you didn't fix my problems for me, so I had to bring in the big guns. This is the work of Mr. Bukens. All hail Mr. Bukens! That's right, Joshua. Did you make up a god? I did. He tells people to clean up the garbage or else they'll be smited. You can't do that. Why not? You made yourself the goddess of garbage. Yes, but I was already a god. How exactly does Mr. Boogans operate? Oh, he sent his messages through me. Do the people ever see this, Mr. Boogans? Nah, I just told them he talks to me in my head. So you made up an unseen god who talks to mortals in their heads, and you don't think that's dangerous? Hey, everyone! Mr. Boogans talks to people in their heads! I heard him! I just heard him in my own head! He commands us to wear these hats! He told me the hat is all wrong! We're supposed to wear tall sandals! You're just self conscious about your height. From now on, Mr. Boogans only talks to me. Don't listen to him. He's getting rich selling hats. And that's not what Mr. Boogans is all about. War time! One afternoon pretending to be a god and you've trashed the city you were hell-bent on cleaning up. I couldn't teach you a better lesson than you've taught yourself. I'll just tell the people as plainly as possible what happened. I'll own it. That should make things fine. We did good today, Sandals people. Thanks be to Boogans. Hey, Joshua, mind if I have a word? Ah, good Boogans to you. Right, so about that, Mr. Boogans isn't real. He's a god I made up. That's interesting, because he's very real to me. The fun's over, my son is an idiot, and I wouldn't blame you for holding this whole episode against him, but he is right. Mr. Puggins is a fake. He made him up, and pretty recklessly, I might add. I know you might be feeling a little foolish right now for going along with a fake god's wishes, but please be comforted knowing that your actions really helped Cropopolis. Well, until the destructive war, but I'll take the heat for that. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Mr. Boogans was just talking to me, and he told me that kings don't matter. Well, I agree with you there. But seriously, drop the Boogans stuff. He's obviously not real. Of course the evil mother of Mr. Boogans would say that. Oh, are you saying that I'm Mr. Boogans' mother? Yes, you're evil. And in a world where Mr. Boogans exists, we don't need you. <gasps> Ty, did you tell him that? Okay, technically yes, but... Furious mother exit! Ah!